Hey everybody, I'm here at Dan's basement in Chicago, Illinois. And Dan has an incredible basement. We covered some other videos that he's got a Midway section and a Sega section. And we're going to venture into the Sega section of this incredible arcade that Dan has. This is Dan, and he's going to talk to you about some special software that he wrote for Derby Owners Club. Yeah, thanks, Tim. You know, one of the problems I was trying to solve with, uh, with this application here was what to do with aging card readers and the inability to find them, repair them, and the 232 board that goes between them and the Naomi. So to make it really easy to kind of get up and play on this, I wrote this application here. It's a simple application that basically digitizes the entire the horse breeding and playing process here. So we're going to demonstrate not only can you play with these horses, but a common question uh, or comments that we see is, hey, I have in some cases, binders of horses that I previously have. I'd love to play my old horses that I still have the cards for. Uh, so I added a capability here where you can actually digitize uh, your existing physical cards and start playing them on this machine again. As long as you have at least one working card reader or, or a friend that does, you can actually import your cards into here and also then export them and take them somewhere else to play there as well. So I'm gonna, we're gonna quickly demonstrate the importing ability. Like I said, you need to have, we have Baby got back here that we're going to stick in the card reader and we're going to click this import button and you're going to hear the machine. I'll give it a little tell love tap there. You're going to hear the machine, the printer start doing some clunking uh, and processing and what it's basically doing is reading all the magnetic tracks to generate a new player card. So you're going to see two things just occur. One is it spat the card back out and the second is this screen here on the interface letting us know that the card was successfully created and with the file name uh, of baby got back and actually if we now show this and go to this menu here you can see here you go baby got back was created and you can see the stats track in terms of uh, what was on the original card so this would then allow you to load the horse into the game play it for as much as you'd like to retire it you know etc but eventually uh, you may want to take it somewhere else and play on another derby set using their real cards so I'm going to demonstrate that if you actually click on the export button we can choose baby got back You'll hear some more clunking coming out of the card reader. Uh, and then in a couple of moments here, you're gonna have a new card come out with Baby Got Back. So let's give it a second here to go through that process. And there you go, look at that. So we have the original Baby Got Back that we imported and now we have the one that we exported here. And the question that I'll leave for, for you and Ted is you tell me which one is the real one. We'll talk a little bit more in a second.